hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgave our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For yours is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. From everlasting to everlasting and forever. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. Holy, holy, you are holy, our Father in heaven. Heaven and earth are full of the greatness of your glory. Angels and men cry out to you, holy, holy, you are holy. Peace be with us. When the delightful scent of your tender love envelopes us, our Lord and God, and our souls are enlightened by the knowledge of your truth. We are made worthy to receive the manifestation of your beloved from heaven. And there may we give you thanks and praise you unceasingly in your crown church, full of all benefits and blessings. For you are Lord and creator of all, Father and Son and Holy Spirit forever. Amen. In the worshipped and praised name of the glorious Trinity, may this incense be blessed, which we are placing in your honour, and be for our partner, creator of delightful scent and pleasing aromas, Lord of all, Father and Son, and Holy Spirit, forever. satisfy you in his kingdom and accept your service by the grace of his compassion. Amen. Amen. Savior of our souls and the constant guardian of our lives. It is thus our duty to thank, adore, and glorify you, o Lord of all, Father and Son and Holy Spirit, forever. Thank you. 
from them, love, hope, and the salvation that befits both body and soul. Thus, we will unceasingly sing a perpetual praise to you at all times, O Lord of all, Father and Son and Holy Spirit, forever. Amen. Oh, the Apostle of Jesus Christ, his epistle to the Ephesians, my brother and bless, O oh my Lord. May Christ instruct you in his holy teaching and make you render a fine presentation to your listeners. Amen. Children, obey your parents in the Lord, for this is right. Honor your father and mother which is the first commandment with promise, that it may be well with you and you may live long on the earth. And you, fathers and mothers, do not provoke your children to wrath, but bring them up in the training and admonition of the Lord. Bond servants, be obedient to those who are your masters according to the flesh, with fear and trembling, in sincerity of heart as to Christ, not with eye service as men pleases, but as bond servants of Christ, doing the will of God from the heart, with good will doing service as to the Lord, not to men, knowing that whatever good anyone does, he will receive the same from the Lord, whether he is a slave or free. And you masters, do the same things to them, giving up threatening, knowing that your own master also is in heaven, and there is no partiality with him. Amen. Glory be to the Lord of all. Let us pray. Peace be with us. May God, the Lord of all, strengthen your thoughts and purify your hymns to sing his glories by the grace of his mercy. Amen. Amen. which sent you to us, O Christ, the light of the world and the eternal life of all forever. Amen. Amen. Make us wise, O Lord, in your law. Enlighten our faculties with your knowledge. Sanctify our souls in your truth and let us obey your words and to fulfill your commands at all times, O Lord of all. Father and Son and Holy Spirit forever. Amen. O oh, you who enlighten the rational with the knowledge of your greatness, enlighten my Lord my thoughts that I may meditate upon your holy and divine scriptures at all times, Lord of all. Father and Son and Holy Spirit forever. Amen. The delightful scent, my Lord, which wafted from you at the moment when Mary the sinner poured the fragrant oil upon your head. May that be mixed with this incense, which we place for your honor and for the pardon of our debts and sins, our Lord of all. Father and Son and Holy Spirit, forever.
according to your steadfast love, according to the multitude of your mercies, blot out my sins. and Pharisees who were from Jerusalem came to Jesus saying why do your disciples transgress, transgress the tradition of the elders for the day they do not wash their hands when they eat bread he answered and said to them why do you also transgress the commandment of God because of your tradition for God commanded saying honor your father and your mother and he who curses father or mother, let him be put to death. But you say, whoever says to his father or mother, whatever profit you might have received from me is a gift to God, then he need not honor his father or mother. Thus, you have made the commandment of God of no effect by your tradition. Hypocrites, well did Isaiah prophesy about you, saying, these people draw near to me with their mouth, and honor me with their lips, but their heart is far from me, and in vain they worship me, teaching as doctrines the commandments of men. Amen. Glory be to Christ our Lord. Glory be to Christ our Lord. Let us all stand composed in faith and hope. Let us implore and say, Lord, have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy on us. O Father of mercies and God of every consolation, we implore you. for all we implore you. Lord, have mercy on us. For the health of our holy fathers, Mar Toma the Metropolitan, and Mar Mari the Bishop, 
and for all those in the same priestly service, we implore you. Lord, have mercy on us. Save us all, O Christ our Lord, in your grace. Increase your peace and your tranquility within us, and have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy on us. Sabaru sabrat Maria, pagredem shicha wad meya qira al madba khutshna. De khalfa wa ore khamsa kulan nazqaru le. Wamalakhin ya bule. Qaddish 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 Mariala Nikhlun miskin o nizbron Pagredem shikha wadme yaqira Al madba qudsha De khintha wa urir khintha Let us pray, peace be with us. Let us lift up praise to your glorious Trinity at all times and forever. Amen. May Christ, who was sacrificed for our salvation and commanded us to make a memorial of his death, burial and resurrection, Accept the sacrifice from our hands in His grace and mercy forever. Amen. Amen. By your command, our Lord and God. Amen. Bless, O oh my Lord. By your command, our Lord and God. Amen. Bless, O oh my Lord. By your command. and arranged upon the holy altar of atonement until the second coming of our Lord from heaven to whom be glory at all times and forever. Amen. Amen. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Upon the holy altar let there be our remembrance of the Virgin Mary, the Mother of Christ. From everlasting to everlasting and forever, Amen. Apostles of the Son and friends of the only begotten, may they be remembered in the Church of Christ. Let all the people say Amen and Amen. Your remembrance, O oh, our Father, is upon the holy altar with the just who triumphed and the martyrs who were crowned. All the departed have fallen asleep in your hope that you may raise them in glory by your glorious resurrection. Let us entrust our souls mutually to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. To you, O Lord, our God. To you, Lord God Almighty, do we beg and plead, fulfill your grace in us, make your gift overflow in our hands, and let your mercies and the compassion of your divinity be for the remission of the debts of your people and the forgiveness of the sins of the sheep of your flock, whom you have chosen for yourself in your grace and your mercies, Lord of all, Father and Son and Holy Spirit, forever. Amen. Bow down your heads for the imposition.
position of hands and receive the blessing. And grant unto us, my Lord, in your compassion that we may all together equally all the days of our lives please your divinity with good works of righteousness which may content and satisfy the glorious will of your Lordship. And may we be made worthy with the aid of your grace to lift up to you praise, honour, thanksgiving and worship at all times, O Lord of all, Father and Son and Holy Spirit forever. Amen. Bless O my Lord. Let us pray. Peace be with us. May our Lord Jesus Christ be with us all by his grace and mercy forever. Amen. Amen. We believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of all that is visible and invisible, and in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, the firstborn of all creations, who was begotten from his Father before all the ages and was not made, true God from true God, of one essence with his Father, by whose hands the worlds were established and everything was created, who for us humans and for our salvation descended from heaven and was incarnate of the Holy Spirit, and became man and was conceived and born of the Virgin Mary and suffered and was crucified in the days of Pontius Pilate and was buried and rose on the third day as it is written and ascended into heaven and sat down at the right hand of his father and he will come again to judge the dead and the living and in one Holy Spirit, the Spirit of Truth who proceeds from the Father, the life-giving Spirit and in one holy and apostolic universal church, we confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins and the resurrection of our bodies and life everlasting. Amen. May God, the Lord of all, be with us all and in us all by his grace and mercies forever. Amen. Amen. So my Lord, my brothers, pray for me. May Christ hear your prayers and be satisfied with your supplications and accept your oblation by his grace and mercies forever. Amen. May God, the Lord of all, strengthen you to give praise in his glories. Let us pray, peace be with us. Pray for the remembrance of our fathers, the patriarchs and bishops, and all priests and deacons, and monks and nuns, and all the deceased who have left this world in the true faith. Our fathers and brothers, all our sons and daughters, and all faithful kings, the friends of Christ, prophets and apostles, and all martyrs and confessors who are here and those of every land, the God who has crowned them in the resurrection from the dead, may grant us good hope with them, and a portion and inheritance, and life in the kingdom of heaven. By whom you are well pleased and reconciled to forgive the sins of all men. Amen. Bless, O oh my Lord. This oblation Qurban is offered for all the living and the dead. May it be accepted from me, I the sinner, before the awesome seed of your greatness, O oh our Lord, with confidence. Amen. Bless, O oh my Lord. May Christ confirm your words and accept the fruits of your lips, and may he pardon the debts and sins of all who listen to you. Amen. And may this oblation be 
accepted with unveiled faces and may it be sanctified by the Word of God and by the Holy Spirit that it may be a benefit to us and salvation and life forever and ever in the kingdom of heaven by the grace of Christ. Bless her, my Lord. Bless her, my Lord. Bless her, my Lord. My brothers, pray for me. May Christ the oppressed, may Christ receive your oblation, and may Christ adorn your priesthood in the kingdom of heaven. And may he be pleased with the sacrifice which you offer for yourself and for us and for the whole world, which looks for and awaits his grace and his mercy forever. Amen. That with perfect love and with true faith, we may administer your gift towards us. Amen. Bless oh my Lord. And we lift up to you praise, honor, thanksgiving and worship. Now and at all times and forever and ever. and deacons and the whole company of the departed from the assembly of the church and for the life and tranquility of the world and for the crown of the year that it may be blessed and perfected in your grace and for every child of the church who is worthy of the reception of this oblation which is before you and for all your servants and handmaidens who stand before you at this hour for all of them and for all of us may the oblation be accepted forever amen let us confess beseech and implore the lord in purity and contrition reverently stand and look at what is taking place in the consecration of the fearful mysteries the priest has drawn need to pray that by his mediation peace may increase among you cast down your pride and lift up your thoughts to heaven watchfully and diligently ask and beseech at this moment and let no one dare to speak Whosoever prays, let him pray in his heart, in silence and in fear, stand and pray, peace be with us. Since you have deemed me worthy of your body and blood, O my Lord, in the same way, by your grace, make me worthy of confidence before you on the day of judgment. Amen. Amen. name of your glorious trinity may this incense be blessed which we offer to your honor and for our absolution forever amen, amen. may the delightful incense O oh our lord and god Offer to you by us before your holy altar and your glorious temple please you and may it be for the joy of your holy name and the pardon of your servants and flock father and son and holy spirit forever continually do his will. Amen. May Christ make your 
priesthood shine in the kingdom of heaven. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God the Father, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with us all, now, at all times, and forever, and ever. is being offered to God the Lord of all. It is fit and right. Peace be with us.
made our deficient nature triumphant through the overflowing mercies of your grace. Amen. Bless, O oh my Lord. And for all your benefits and graces toward us, we lift up glory, honor, thanksgiving, and adoration to you now, at all times, and forever and ever.
Bless him, our Lord. Bless him, our Lord. Bless him, our Lord. My brothers, pray for me. May Christ hear your prayers. May Christ receive your oblation. And may Christ adorn your priesthood in the kingdom of heaven. And may he be pleased with this sacrifice which you offer for yourself and for us and for the whole world which looks for and awaits his grace and his mercy forever. Amen. And we too, my Lord, and we too, my Lord, and we too, my Lord. May your grace be upon us, O Lord, though as we have waited for you, May they come, O oh my Lord. In silence and in awe, be standing and praying. Peace be with us. And may your Holy Spirit come, O oh my Lord, and rest upon this oblation urbana of your servants. Bless it and sanctify it, that it may be for us, O oh Lord, for the pardon of debts and the forgiveness of sins, for the great hope of resurrection from the dead, and for new life in the kingdom of heaven with all of those who have pleased you. And for this whole great and marvelous plan for us, we give you thanks and praise you unceasingly in your church, redeemed by the precious blood of your Christ, with expressive mouths and unveiled faces, with expressive mouths and unveiled faces. Amen. Bless oh my Lord. While lifting up glory, Thanksgiving and worship to your living and holy and life giving name now and at all times and forever and ever. Amen. O Christ, the peace of those above and the great tranquility of those below. Absolve the debts of sinners by church rankings.
up my eyes toward you, O you who dwell in the heavens, as the eyes of servants are toward their masters, and as the eyes of a handmaid are toward her mistress, so our eyes are toward you, O Lord our God, until you have mercy upon us. Have mercy upon us, O Lord, have mercy upon us. I have washed my hands in purity, and I have gone round your altar, O Lord. Amen. May our prayer and petition please you, our Lord and God, and the fragrance of our pleasant censer be for your satisfaction as the censer of Aaron the priest in the tabernacle. Restore our souls with our bodies, and be reconciled to your creation because of your abundant mercies. O creator of pleasant scents and sweet spices, Lord of all, Father and Son and Holy Spirit, forever. Amen. Perfume us, our Lord and God, with the pleasing scent of your sweet-smelling love. Wash us therein from the grime of sea, and our good shepherd who came searching for us, found us who were lost, and rejoices in our return. Forgive my faults and my sins, intentional, unintentional, in your grace and in your mercy. Bless our my Lord, bless our my Lord. May the mercy of your grace, our Lord and our God, draw us near to these glorious, holy, life-giving and divine mysteries. Though we are not worthy, in truth, O oh my Lord, Descended from heaven and gives life to the world in its totality. Those who eat of it will not die, and those who partake of it will be forgiven and saved, and through it will live forever. Amen. Glory to you, my Lord. Amen. Bless, oh my Lord. Glory to you. which is unspeakable forever. Amen. Amen. With true faith in your name, O Lord, we draw near to these holy mysteries. In your mercy we break, and in your compassion we sign the body and blood of your beloved, our Lord Jesus Christ. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, forever. Amen. The precious blood is signed with the life-giving body of our Lord Jesus Christ. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, forever. Amen. The holy body is signed with the forgiving blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, 
and of the Holy Spirit forever. Amen. See that it is I myself. See that it is I myself. I am the bread which descended from on high. Said our Savior in a mystery to his disciples. Whoever in love draws near and receives me lives in me forever and inherits the kingdom. Bless the Lord, you his angels. Cherubim and seraphim and archangels in fear and trembling stand before the altar and behold the priest who breaks and divides the body of Christ for the pardon of death. Open to me the gates of Righteousness, a compassionate one whose door is open to the penitent and who calls sinners to draw near to him. Open to us, O oh my Lord, the door of mercies that we may enter through sing glory to you by night and by day. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God the Father and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with us all, now at all times and forever and ever.
make us worthy, our Lord and God, to stand always before you without fault, with pure hearts and unveiled faces, and in that confidence that you have granted us all in your mercy, we call together upon you, and thus say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be your name, your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread, and forgive us our debts, as we forgave our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For yours is the kingdom and the power and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Indeed, our Lord and our God, we plead and implore the immensity of your compassion. Do not, O Lord, do not, O Lord, lead us into temptation, but save and deliver us from the evil one and his host. From the evil one and his host. Yours are the kingdom, the power, the strength, the greatness and the authority in heaven and on earth, now at all times and forever and ever. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, one God. Amen. Our beloved fathers, deacons, parents, and our beautiful Divine Heart Sunday School angels, our beloved students, we thank our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ for such a blessed and a glorious evening being here in the Holy Church and celebrating the Holy Mass with our beautiful angels. How are we? I can't hear you. Not good. How are we? Louder. Higher. A little bit more. And then a little bit more. <laughs> Parents, don't you love it when your children yell and scream this way at home? <laughs> I don't know. I feel, um, I feel distant this way. Just watch the camera for me, please. I'm coming down. I'm coming down. I'm coming down.
All right, that's better. I can see you now. Um, thank you very much, mom and dads, for bringing your beautiful children to this Holy Mass service. It's been a little while since we've um, celebrated the Holy Mass for our beloved Sunday school, Divine Heart Sunday school. And I love you, my beloved angels. Thank you so much. You're so beautiful. You are so well mannered. Look at that. You haven't made any noises until I ask you to make some noise. Isn't that wonderful? And this is the way it should be when we are in the house of the Lord. We're going to come this way. We're going to come this way. All right. Today's gospel, gospel means good news or happy news. Okay. And in, in the Lord's language, in our language, we call it swartha. Can you say it after me? Swartha. 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 Good. That means good news or happy news. In today's gospel, oh, actually, before I go any further, can you put your hands together for our beautiful choir? They sang absolutely magnificent. Look at them. Absolute angels. Look at them. My goodness. God bless you. Well done, my beloved children. You sang beautifully for the first time. They've been practicing for a little while now, and today it is their first time ever standing in the church during the Holy Mass service and praising the Lord. Amen. Well done, well done. That was beautiful. I was listening to them. I'm saying, and they sing in tune, I'm telling you what. In in today's gospel or, or swartha, the Lord Jesus is talking to us and teaching us on how to respect our father and our mother, our parents. Do we love our parents? Can I see a show of hands? Do we love our mom and dads? Everybody says yes. Beautiful. That is wonderful. You see, God gave us a very, very, very precious gift. That is mom and dad. In fact, God himself says, I am your dad and I am your mother. God revealed or showed himself to the whole world that I am daddy and I am mom as well. I am dad when it comes to protecting you. And I am mom when it comes to providing for you. Daddy protects us. Daddy works hard to bring everything and make sure we are all well and sound. And mom works very hard in providing for us. She cooks for us. She washes for us. She cleans for us. Wow. We come back from school. Our clothes are dirty. Mommy washes them for us. We come back from school and our tummy is empty going. Grr, grr, grr. We're hungry. And mommy's already made the best meal for us. Mommy knows what, ma what her son, her daughter love to eat. She knows. So, she can't wait to see her children back. But when we come home and we see mom, she's cooked for us, cleaned the house for us, prepared everything for us. How did she make that? Because she got the help from dad as well. This is why we need to love dad and mom the same, the same way. Love them together, equally. We don't say, I love dad more than mom, or I love mom more than dad. No, mom and dad both need to be loved the same way because they are making this family complete. They're making this beautiful family complete.
Who here asks mom more than asking dad? Who asks mom more than dad? Show, show of hands. Okay. Come here, champ. Come here, champ. Can you see him, Mr. Cameraman? <laughs> this is Mark. Can you tell us why you ask mom more than dad? Or is it too personal, maybe? Person, too personal. <laughs> it's too personal, he says. <laughs> you love mom and dad, don't you? Yes. Yes? Yeah. Well done. Put your hands together for Marky. Thank you, you can go back. Who asked daddy more than mom? Oh, look at this. <laughs> the hands are even more. Come here, Narsay. Come here, champ. Come here. He should be your Rabbi Kasha. <laughs> uh, you ask dad more than mom? You do? Can you tell me why? Because you buy everything in plastic. <laughs> <laughs> Was that in Chinese? <laughs> he buys you things? Oh, <laughs> What, what does he buy? Everything? Everything you want? Yes. Yeah, not everything. Not everything. Sometimes he buys you things, yes? Okay. But you love mom too, don't you? Yes. Say yes. Yes. <laughs> Put your hands together for Nasei. Now, why is it important for us as children to love mom and dad. Number one, because this is how God wants us to live. This is how God expects from us to do. You see, when I love dad and when I love mom, and when I say love them, I also mean respect them. So what do I do? When daddy comes and says something to me, I need to listen. I need to do what daddy tells me. And the same way with mom. So when mom comes, when mom comes and says something that you need to do, you don't run to dad and say, dad, I don't want to do it. Can you talk to mom? No, no, because mom, what mom says, dad says, and what dad says, mom says, yes, we need to respect this. We need to listen to this. So when mom and dad, they come and say something to us, we have to listen. When we listen to mom and dad, who are we listening to? God. We've made God happy. And guess what? When God is happy, everyone is happy. The family is happy, parents happy, children are happy, everyone is happy. What time do we normally go to sleep? Yes? 8.30. Anyone here later than 8.30? Show of hands. MashaAllah. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. What is the latest time you go to sleep? Yes. 10.30. We've broken the record here. Later than 10.30? 3 a.m. 3 a.m. 3 a.m. Yes. What time? No sleep at all. If it's World, World Cup season. <laughs> We've got Ronaldinho here. By the way, I'm messy. <laughs> so when it's, when it's soccer, no sleep. Wonderful. What time do you go to sleep, my angel? Yes, you. What time? Eight o'clock. Wow, amazing. What about you? Eight o'clock too. Amazing. Yes. Nine o'clock. Wow. Seven o'clock. That is the earliest sofa. Beautiful. Anyone here seven o'clock too? No. Five thirty. One in the morning, one in the evening. Very good. Jacoby. 
more given give and take 10 10 30 not bad yes at least 12 I like the word at least before it huh? at least 12 yeah and don't talk to me before 12 that's the minimum 840 and so, uh, we've got decimals now all of a sudden happening here <laughs> Yes, at the back. 10 o'clock. Yes. 1090. That's a new watch. <laughs> All right. If you haven't been aware, there is a new time coming now called 1090. <laughs> okay. Yes, he's busy too. All right, now, who's here when mom and dad say go to sleep, you say no? Who does that? A show of hands. One, two, three, four. Can you tell me? Can you tell me why? Sorry, let's be quiet. Let's be quiet. Can you tell me why you don't go to sleep? Because you don't feel like going to sleep, yes, you don't feel like it, huh? So mom and dad says, "Go to sleep." I'm not, I'm not sleepy yet, yeah. What time do you go to sleep? Do you know? Seven, eight, nine o'clock, or ten ninety? <laughs> ten ninety. Why, why don't you go to sleep? Because I only watch the World Cup. You watch, you watch World Cup. How old are you? Seven. Seven. Wow. Does Messi wear number seven? No, Ronaldo? Number ten. Who, who's number seven then? Ronaldo. I, I, you're teaching me about soccer. I don't know. <laughs> I haven't watched it for a long time. Um, what we need to do when mom and dad tells us to do something, we need to listen to that. Yes, because they know what's best for us. You see, if you go to sleep late, you're going to wake up in the morning very tired. You don't feel like going to school. And you go and you drag yourself to school. You're sitting in the classroom. You want to go to sleep now. You're very tired because you didn't have enough sleep. This is why we must listen to mom and dad. Yeah? When we listen to them, we feel much better. We can do much better. Why? Because again, we are pleasing God more and more. We are pleasing God more and more. Who helps mom and dad at home here? Wow. Okay, I'm going to... Can you come out here for me, please? Yes, you, Habibi, come. Come out here. So how do you help mom and dad? What do you do at home? Clean the house. Clean the house. Put your hands together for this champion. What else? That's all. That's it. Finished. Very good. Yes, come. can you come out? Can you come out? Well done, champion. Well done, well done. So what do you do at home to help mom and dad? Wipe the tables. Wipe the tables. Put your hands together. Okay, who else wants to come out here and tell me how they help mom and dad? Come, my little angel, yes, you. Come out, come out, come out here. Aren't they, aren't they beautiful? Aren't they beautiful? How do you help mom and dad? Um, put out the dishes, plates on the table. Wow, put your hands together. Isn't that sweet? Anyone else? Yes, my angel over there, come. Come out here. Look at her. Look at her. I can't even see her. <laughs> oh, that's cute. Oh, that's beautiful. And what do you have in your hand? Ah. <laughs> How do you help mom and dad? By giving them the stuff to, to change the baby's nap. <laughs> so she gives mom and dad the, the stuff to change the baby's nappy very good aren't you sweet anyone else yes my dear friend come out here 
He's been very, he's been trying very hard to. <laughs> How do you help mom and dad at home? By doing chores, simplest thing to do. Can you say that slow? Chores. What's that? Chores. Oh. Job, oh. kind of like that. You clean the house, you get something back. Is that a new language? <laughs> so you clean the house? Yes. Wow. Anything else? No. You sure? Yes. Final? Yes. No more? No. You sure? Yes. <laughs> Put your hands together for this gentleman. Wow. Who's making this beautiful? Uh... Oh, look at that. Look at that. Isn't she an angel? Look at that. Look at that. She's an angel. Okay. Who takes us to play sport here? Mom or dad? Mom, both? Both? Dad? No? You don't? Okay, who plays, who plays sport here? Who plays sport? Who plays sport? Show of hands. Play sport? Okay, what do you play? Martial arts? Oh, you want to fight me? Come. She wants to fight me. You want to hit me? No, please. Huh? I got red belt. Black belt? She's serious. I think she's going to smack me. <laughs> so how long have you been playing martial arts? for like eight years now. <laughs> I think I've called the wrong person out here. Okay, can you be my bodyguard? Yes, I can. <laughs> so you've got a oh, black belt? Yeah. Black yes, belt. yes. Um, I, I, I taught Bruce Lee. Really? Yeah. Uh, longer, longer time ago, I taught uh, Bruce Lee. Go, hata. Yes. So you have black belt in martial arts? Yes. Thank you very much. So who, who takes you to, uh, to play uh, this kind of a sport? Um, both my parents. <laughs> wow. And you've been doing it for eight years? Yes. Or I'll, I'll make you my bodyguard next time, okay? Yep. Thank Deal. You. <laughs> Thank you. Wow. That's dangerous. Soccer? Who plays soccer here? Uh, who takes you to soccer? Dad. Dad. <laughs> Both, mom and dad? You play soccer? He's your brother. Okay. So do you go with your brother when he plays soccer? <laughs> okay. What other sport do we play here? Hoop? Cricket. Wow. Basketball. Wow. Yes. Dance. Wow. Basketball. Wow, amazing. What? Soccer. At the back? Basketball. Wow. Soccer. Tennis. Yes. Very good. So, so we, like, we like sport, yes? What about the older ones here? What do you do? You don't play any sport? No sport at all? Yes? Swim, oh, that's nice. Swimming, very healthy too. Amazing. All right. I don't want to take too much of your time. Again, I'll say this. You see, we need to remember this. Who cares for us? Mom and dad. Who spends all their life raising us, looking after us? Mom and dad. Who worries for us, mom and dad? When we are sometimes a bit late, they get worried. When we get a bit of a flu, a, te a small temperature, they get very worried. They take us to the doctor straight away. They are always looking after us and making sure we have the best life possible. Why? Simply because they love us the most. 
So, when we grow older and we start having friends, remember this. Friends, they may love you, but nowhere near what mom and dad do. Mom and dad love you the most. No one is compared with mom and dad. There is God in heaven and there is mom and dad on earth. Very important for us to remember this, to always remind ourselves of this, that after the Lord Jesus, mom and dad on earth are the ones who love us the most. Not my cousin, not my friend, not anyone else. Mom and dad come after God. Amen? So, who do we need to listen to the most? Mom and dad. Who do we need to respect the most? Mom and dad. Okay, when we respect mom and dad, who are we respecting? God. And when we respect God, what is he going to do for us? He's going to bless us. He's going to provide everything for us. He's going to make us succeed in everything we do in life. He will give us a good life, a happy one, and a very successful one. Now, one of the things we need to do to show respect for mom and dad is to be close to the Lord Jesus. You see, today you came to church and we are cel celebrating the Holy Mass, the body and the blood of Christ together. This is absolutely beautiful what you've done. Do you know how much Jesus is happy now? Oh, I can assure you, he is very, very happy. He has a huge smile on his face now, looking down at us from heaven and saying, look at my children. They've come to say hello to me. Look at my beautiful angels. They chose to come to church and it's a Saturday evening. It's a Saturday evening. We're spending it in the church, the house of the Lord Jesus. This is very, very big for the Lord Jesus. He will never forget this day. And he knows everyone that came on this day. And next time we see him, he will remind us. He will say, on such and such date, the 12th of August 2023 at 6 p.m. you came to St. Shimon Bar Sabai and St. Mary's Church. I remember and I've got a present for you because you came on that day to the church and he will give you a beautiful present in heaven one day. So what do we need to do? We need to make this day more often. So we come again and again and again. Amen. So we love mom and dad. Yes. We pray for mom and dad. Yes. Do we pray for them? Yes. yes. Every time you pray in your room, you say, Lord Jesus, bless my mom and my dad. And if you have brothers and sisters, you also pray for them. We are a family, and the family prays for one another. We love one another, and we pray for one another. Amen? So we pray for our parents, we love our parents, we respect our parents, and we help our parents at home. Don't give mom and dad a hard time. So next time they say, stop watching this game and go to sleep you say yes mom yes dad i go to sleep see when we make when we make them happy they make us happy yeah and then the lord is watching and he is very happy Can you bring this little angel out here, please? So we want to see her from close. <laughs> Somebody was preaching right at the back, so we have to see who is this new preacher. 
Hello, my little angel. Hello, Habibi. I think she'll be afraid to come on her own. She'll be afraid. Maybe bring her, bring her with you. Come, come, come. Yeah, yeah, bring her with you. Hello. How are you? What's your name? Dad. What's your name? Dad. What's your name? No. Rebecca? Is it Rebecca? How old is Rebecca? No, she's not, she doesn't want to talk. How old is Rebecca? Huh? Where is Jesus? She is shy now. <laughs> At the back she was talking, now she's shy. I think I'm too, I'm too scary. <laughs> Love you, Rebecca. God bless you, Rebecca. See you, Rebecca. Love you. All right. We thank you for coming today and being part of this Holy Mass service. We thank your parents, mom and dad, thank you so much. And we are so proud of you to be with you and to be blessed by you in this Holy Church. God bless you, God protect you, God keep you, give you a very long life, a very healthy one and a very successful one. Bless mom and dad and the entire family. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, one God, Amen. And again, can you put your hands together for our beautiful, the Good Shepherd Choir, or the Divine Heart, the Divine Heart Choir. Well done, my angels. You've done a magnificent work today. God bless you for your beautiful voices. You've done a beautiful job. Well done. God bless. God bless you all. God bless you all. Okay, just a couple of announcements very quickly. Um, we've established this, divine, this liturgy for Divine Heart Sunday School families and will run every six weeks. So every six weeks we'll have the Holy Mass service here celebrated for parents and their beloved children. So we encourage all parents um, I know sometimes it is hard for every family to come. Uh, it's a Saturday evening. They have made, probably they have other commitments. But I will always urge you, encourage you, mom and dad, to make the time. It's once every six weeks. Please maybe try as much as you can. Block that, that, that Saturday out and don't let any other activities happening on that Saturday as much as you can. It is extremely, extremely important, mom and dad, especially in our time and age. We are living at a time where a lot of things are happening. Unless our children are embedded by the love of Christ and His holy word, it is very hard to face the world and the current of the world. So mom and dad, you have a huge responsibility and the Lord will expect you to uh, raise your children in the love of God. I encourage parents to bring their children. It's once every six weeks. Definitely, we have to make an effort, all of us. We have to make an effort in making it happening. The other one is, if your child wishes to join our children's choir, please see Father Daniel or Miss Rona. If your child wishes to join the children's choir, Please see either Father Daniel or Miss Rona. If you haven't enrolled your child into the school, do so by seeing our teachers after the liturgy in the foyer. If you haven't enrolled your children, you wish to enroll them. Those who are watching us through live streaming, 
mom and dad, if you're living around the area close by, and when I say close by, even if it's half an hour, 40 minutes, we need to make an effort. We need to make an effort because this is very vital. This is the time where we, we need to bring our children to the Lord Jesus. What we teach them now, they will never forget for the rest of their life. And I pray it's a very long, happy and a prosperous one. It's very important. So if you haven't enrolled your children, please do so uh, after the liturgy in the foyer. Or you can come other times, Friday evenings, 6 p.m., Sunday evening, 6 p.m., uh, you can enroll your children even on those dates, on those days, my beloved. And it is from the ages of 5 to 16. If you wish Father Daniel to visit your home, parents, please feel free to contact him. If you'd like a visit, uh, Father Daniel is the chaplain as well of the Divine Heart Sunday School. He's not only here to serve the children, but he's also to serve you as mom and dad as well. So if you need um, a spiritual advice, a prayer, uh, you want to um, open up, talk, Father Daniel and Father Georges as well, both um, are here for you. But Father Daniel is the chaplain of the Divine Heart Sunday School more specifically. So as parents, if you ever need uh, or you feel you wish to talk to Father Daniel, please feel free to contact him and he will be more than happy to assist you in whichever way possible. Uh, we have our Lent for the Holy Mother Feast coming up tomorrow. Actually, um, we will commence it on Monday because tomorrow is Sunday. So we'll commence Monday. So commencing this Monday, we'll be fasting for the Feast of the Holy Mother for two weeks. Okay, so we try to be as much as possible. Our other children, maybe we stop them from meat at least. We don't want to go too hard on them maybe. But normally, um, at least be pescatarian you know try and, and avoid dairy products as much as possible but that all depends on the well-being of your child but at the same time I encourage mom and dad not to be afraid because the Lord is the protector however if there is any certain conditions where the child needs certain uh, sustenances then don't um, abstain them from it uh, otherwise try and teach your child how to fast uh, at this early age very vital fasting and prayer the Lord Jesus says in this way you can cast out demons by fasting and prayers you cast out demons because the disciples couldn't get that demon out so they asked the Lord why he said this kind doesn't go out come out unless you fast and you pray so fasting is also extremely important and it is the feast of our Holy Mother Mary coming up. So from Monday, we are commencing our fast for the two weeks period. The other um, point, if you wish to volunteer to teach or help in our Sunday school ministry, please see Father Daniel. We always... We're always in need of help. So if you, if, you feel, if you wish to volunteer to teach or help the Sunday school in whichever way, please uh, do see Father Daniel. would be greatly appreciated. For all news updates, announcements on school or church ministry, please follow us on Facebook, Instagram, or YouTube. If you want to see what is happening, all the activities that are taking place in the church, future activities please follow us on the um, church social media platforms facebook instagram or youtube god bless you and now if i could ask um the children to stand is it for the um yeah
Okay, let's bow our heads uh, for the uh, absolution prayer, please. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, one God, Amen. Our good God and full of mercy, our good God and full of mercy, whose grace and mercy is poured upon all, pour, my Lord, the compassion of the delightfulness of your love upon your servants, and again transform them in the hope of renewal to the life of repentance. Renew in them your Holy Spirit, by whom they are sealed for the day of salvation, Purify them by your compassion from all flesh and spiritual blemishes and assure the hope of their faith by the aid of your grace and instill the works of their behavior in the paths of righteousness. Please them along with the saints in your kingdom by the assurance of the hope of their faith in the adoption as your children and in the joy of your absolving mysteries. Empower them by the aid of your mercies to observe your commandments and fulfill your will, to confess, worship, and praise your holy name the Lord of all, Father and Son and Holy Spirit forever. Amen. God bless you all. Let us pray, peace be with us. The grace of the Holy Spirit be with you, with us, and with all who receive him in the kingdom of heaven forever. Amen. With you, with us, and with all those who receive him in the kingdom of heaven, give glory to the living God. Glory. Bless, O oh my Lord. Mothers and fathers, church community, just one last final announcement before we commence with the sacrament of the body and blood of our Lord. 
We forgot to mention that we've prepared a very light meal and refreshments in the hall. So after, uh, after the Mass, please do not leave. Come straight to the hall for fellowship. Thank you. May the gracious gift of our life, giver the Lord Jesus Christ, be consummated in all of us by his mercies forever and ever. Amen. Brethren, receive the body of the Son, says the Church. Okay, boys and girls, I want your attention because you have to repeat after me. This is a special prayer we say, we recite, where we want to come receive the Lord Jesus Christ. Are we ready? I'll wait for a few more people to line up for us. Okay. Heavenly Father, you have loved us. With an, with an everlasting love. But we have gone our own way, we have gone our own way. And, broken and broken your laws. We are sorry for our sins, we are sorry for our sins. And, turn and turn away from them. For the sake of your Son, the sake of your son who died for us, died for us. Forgive, us. forgive us, cleanse us, cleanse us. and change us. By your, Holy Spirit, By your Holy Spirit, enable us to live for you, to live for you and, to and to please you more and more through Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen.
of mortal men worthy, O Lord, to proclaim your holiness with spiritual beings, to participate in the gift of your mysteries, to enjoy the sweetness of your words, and to lift up songs of praise and thanksgiving to your sublime divinity at all times, O Lord of all, Father and Son and Holy Spirit forever. God, our Lord, our King, our Saviour, our Life-Giver and the Forgiver of our sins, who has made us worthy in His grace and mercies to receive His precious and sanctifying body and blood, grant us to please Him in our words and in our deeds and in our thoughts and actions. May the mysteries that we have received and will receive be for us, O Lord, a token to obtain the pardon of our debts and the forgiveness of our sins the great hope of resurrection from the dead and new life in the kingdom of heaven with all of those who have pleased him through his grace and mercies forever. Amen. Amen. Bless O my Lord, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. Holy, holy, you are holy, our Father in heaven. Heaven and earth are full of the greatness of your glory. Angels and men cry out to you, Holy, holy, you are holy. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgave our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For yours is the kingdom and the power and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. From everlasting to everlasting and forever. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, holy, holy, you are holy, our Father in heaven. Heaven and earth are full of the greatness of your glory. 
Angels and men cry out to you, Holy, holy, you are holy. Bless are my Lord. Baruch Mar Pugdan Khun. Pugdan Edem Shikha Maran Shukha Leshme Qaddisha. May he who has blessed us with every spiritual blessing in heaven, our Lord Jesus Christ. May he who has blessed us with every spiritual blessing in heaven, our Lord Jesus Christ, who indeed invited us into his kingdom, who called us and drew us close to his delightful blessings, which neither pass away nor cease nor diminish, as he declared and promised in his life-giving gospel, when he said to the blessed assembly of his disciples, Amen, Amen, I say unto you, whoever eats my body and drinks my blood, dwells in me and I in him, and I shall raise him up on the last day, and he shall not come to judgment, for he has indeed passed from death to life eternal. May he bless our assembly. Amen. Protect our community. Amen. And exalt our people. to be renewed by the power of these glorious, holy, life-giving and divine mysteries. Thus may you be sealed by the living sign of the Lordly Cross and be guarded from all dangers hidden or manifest now and at all times and forever and ever. Our beautiful families, children, boys and girls, students of divine heart, families of divine heart, may God bless your oblation. Boys and girls, you did well for your first liturgy in a long time. We have to improve here and there, just a little bit tweaking, but that's okay. Mums and dads, don't forget, we've organized a small treat for you in the hall. Please do not leave. But either way, go in the peace of the Lord. The Lord be with you and your families. I will trust thee.